Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Mark again. I know it's been a long time since you've heard from us and we've been super busy just trying to get things out of the way so that we can enjoy the hunting season. Now this hunting season is going to be a little bit different for me because I'm actually going into surgery next week and getting my rotator cuff uh, fixed. The doctor doesn't really know how much this surgery is going to help and basically has said that I might not be able to shoot my bow ever again. So with that in mind, uh, I went ahead and got myself the approval for the Florida uh, Disabled Hunter Crossbow Permit, and I went ahead and I bought myself my first crossbow. Now, this is the Killer Instinct Hero 380. It's an entry-level bow. This cost me uh, about $250. Uh, it's a ready-to-shoot package comes with a quiver and three arrows. Um, it's a 185 pound draw bow, comes with an illuminated scope, um, and it has great reviews. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sight it in today and shoot it a little bit and tell you guys what I think of it. Now because I know that these entry level type bows have to cut corners somewhere, um, I figured that the arrows that would come with it probably wouldn't be very good. So I went ahead and bought myself a couple of these um, Victory X-Bolt uh, ready-made uh, crossbow bolts. Uh, these have a brass insert, so they have a little higher FOC. They've got uh, a lighted knock on the back. Um, and the fletchings have what looks like uh, probably a three degree helical on it, so it'll get that arrow spinning, sorry, that bolt spinning much better than uh, these stock ones that came with it. Um, these are also a little bit lighter than these, so I'm going to test the arrow, the bolts that come with it, and the bolts that I bought, and see uh, how they perform, uh, and, uh, and let you know what I uh, figure out. All right, YouTube. So I'm set up out here. I got my chronograph out. I got my crossbow. I've got the target set at about 10 yards away. And right now, I just want to make sure that it's shooting kind of straight, uh, so that I can uh, start figuring out where to zero it at. Uh, so I'm gonna take my first couple shots and see how this thing loads. Okay, so loading it wasn't too bad. Relatively easy. Now we're gonna put the green fletching down. Slide that all the way back. And uh Take our first shot. Let's hope this thing doesn't explode. Damn, that's pretty sweet. <laughs> okay, so that first shot went right in the middle of the bullseye, so I feel pretty comfortable taking a few more shots. So, I'm gonna send these three stock bolts downrange, and I'm gonna put them through the chronograph. We're gonna see what kind of speeds we're getting, and then I'll do the, uh, the victory bolts that I bought. Oh, and when you pull it back, it automatically goes on to safety mode. So you don't have to put it on safety before you cock. All right, shot. I guess I gotta back up a little bit. Cause it hasn't reached full velocity yet. Now it should, okay. Okay. 
Okay, so I switched the points over to the new bolts. So these are the Victory X bolts. They come in at about 420, 425 grains, something like that. I haven't actually weighed them, but that's about what they should be. So let's see how fast these fly. Okay, so I've moved the target back to 20 yards now. Um, and I'm about to shoot these X bolts because these are the ones I'm going to hunt with. And uh, I'm going to get it zeroed in at 20 yards. And then from there, we're going to figure out uh, how far each uh, increment is on this site. So here we go. Let's see what we can do. Safety off. So at 20 yards, that hit about four inches low. So I gotta bring this sight up a little bit. All right, so I've been shooting this thing for like, I don't know, I've probably done 20 or 30 shots with it. Um, I like it, it's accurate. Uh, not as accurate as uh, Killer Instinct is boasting though. Um, at 30 yards, I'm putting together about an inch, inch and a half group. So they're claimed putting one inch groups at 60 yards. Uh, doesn't seem likely. Uh, one of these days I'll go out to a field where I got a little longer range and I'll, uh, I'll actually try shooting at 60 yards. Um, these uh, X bolts definitely penetrate better than uh, the ones that came with the bow. Uh, so I definitely advise you to pick up uh, some better bolts than what you get with them and, and as I showed you the knock broke right off of one of those bolts on the first shot um, So they're pretty much useless, but the bow itself. Uh, I really like it. Um, it's pretty solid um, So I sighted it in uh, I zeroed it at 20 yards went back to 30 yards and uh, the second pin uh, or the second crosshair uh, is money at 30 yards and then I went back to 40 yards and guess what? The third one was also right on at 40 yards, which is really cool considering these are not the bolts that uh, that you're supposed to use with it, or at least that they probably designed that scope around. So all in all, I really like the bow. I'm gonna keep doing some more uh, uh, practicing with it and whatever. Um, and uh, eventually, hopefully I'll be able to uh, post a video of me getting my first deer with this crossbow. So right now, I'm gonna take the camera down and put it next to the, uh, the target. So, and then I'm gonna do a 30 yard group. Uh, we'll see uh, how it does. Well, as you can see, that wasn't my best shooting. I uh, pulled on that last one and it went a bit low. Well, as you can see, that wasn't the best group in the world. I've definitely shot a few better today. Uh, but I was kind of rushing it because my battery's about to die, so I needed to uh, finish things up quickly so that I could get in these last words. Uh, all in all, if that was the best group that I shot, I would still be happy with this bow because that was like a two and a half inch group. Um, and you know when you're shooting at a deer you're trying to hit a target that's like eight inches across so so that's more than enough for hunting uh, this bow is cheap it's nice entry level so if you're trying to get into uh, crossbow hunting this is a great bow to start with uh, I know I'm gonna have a lot of fun with it in the woods and hopefully I can put my first deer down with a crossbow uh, and have that on video for you guys Thanks again for tuning in to Swamp and Stomp, and if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can get all our videos that we put out through this coming hunting season. And as always, guys, be safe, stay diligent, and good luck in the woods.